I do not think at this level that the issue of NMPCL and Dangote refinery should be confined to the committee level. I want to suggest and amend the prayers in the motion that the GMD of NMPCL should be invited, summoned by this house, to give clear explanation to Nigerians on the current issue about the supply of petroleum products and, of course, the price of PMS in Nigeria. I so submit, Mr. Speaker. Well, Honorable Jimbo, with due respect, you know, today we are going to announce, in fact, yesterday, we are supposed to inaugurate the Joint House and Senate Committee to investigate this uh, issue holistically. But we decided after consultation that we should make the announcement today of the membership and fix a date next week for the inauguration of this committee. And the, one of the terms of the reference is to look into this same thing you are talking about. So I think it will be a, a duplication of efforts. I am sure in the course of the investigation, the GMD will be called upon to answer questions. So rather than uh, uh, subjecting him to the, the, the several visits on one subject matter, I think we should put our confidence on the Joint Committee, let them do a, whole, uh, a holistic job, and report back to us. Mr. So Mr. I think in the contributions of others are along this line. We don't need to bother ourselves talking about it anymore. We can just put the question. Speaker, information. I think, Honorable uh, Jimmy, is, was it a, a, a point of order you raised, or was it uh, an amendment? A point of order, sir. Point of order. So I think your point of order is sustained. Thank you very much. Uh, any amendment to the motion? Honorable Bashir, I saw your hands uh, earlier. Are you still interested in uh, yes. talking? Mr. Speaker, right honorable members. He said it was a point of order. Uh, my name's uh, uh, right honorable no, Bashir Zubairo Usman. We need to find out if there are others who would have <laughs> other amendments to the motion. First, before you roll. Mr. Please, can you, can you proceed? Okay, Mr. Speaker, right honorable members, my name is right honorable Bashir Well Usman. I represent the Nungari Geo Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, this is a simple issue. I think uh, we are just trying to drag this matter so long. I think the point of order raised by honorable Baba, uh, Baba Femi Jepson, I think it is right because this is an issue of the joint committee of the two houses, both Senate and House of Representatives. I think whatever the house will, decision will, the house will take, the committee report will supersede any uh, contribution or any uh, committee that we are going to. Maybe we are going to refer it back to the main committee of our petroleum and other committees that we are going to. But this is a joint committee of the Senate and House of Representatives. I believe it's even better that the house should allow this committee to so, do their So rather, I would have advised that you move that we refer this particular motion to the joint committee okay. to be inaugurated. That's Mr. all. Mr. Speaker. So if you can move for that, we, we can make progress, okay? To refer back to the committee, main committee. Okay, Mr. Speaker, right honorable members, I move that this motion should be referred back to the main committees for the four-part scrutinization. I report back to the committee honorable house. Committee or to the other committee to the, be inaugurated? Yes, to the other committee to be inaugurated. Any seconder to this amendment? Yes. Any seconder? Yes. Our leader. Thank you, right honorable speaker, honorable colleagues. Bedi Yeitim and Frederick is my name. I represent Sagbama Kilimo Federal Constituency. It's not coming, I'm from Bayasa State. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I rise to second the motion that this motion be prescribed to the adult committee to be inaugurated. I so second. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. The eyes have it. This, uh, those in support of this motion as amended should say aye. 
Those against, you say nay. There is have it. This motion is referred to the committee on ad hoc committee to be inaugurated in due course. Thank you. The next motion is coming from Honorable Nandi Izechi. If Honorable Nandi is around, please can you rise and move your motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable colleagues, Nandi Izechi is my name, and I represent Ndo Kwan in federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, I come under order 8 to 5 to enable me move this motion of urgent public importance titled Urgent Need for Federal Government Intervention to address riverside erosion in Onya community in Indokwa East Local Government area of Delta State, leading to loss of lives and properties. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I so move. Any seconder? My dear friend. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My dear honorable colleagues, my name is Honorable Uchenna Harris Okonkwo. I speak for the people of Idemili North and South Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second the first leg of the motion, ably moved by my dear colleague, Honorable Namdi Ezechi. I so second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. Nice, I have it. The second leg. Yes, my, uh, my colleague, please go ahead. Mr. Speaker, sir, honorable members, my name is Honorable Mohammed Dang Abashehu, member representing Zaki Federal Constituency from Bochi State. I stand to second the second leg of this motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is it. Yes, Orobo, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. Nam the is my name, and I represent in Dokwakwa in the federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Delta State. I rise here this morning to move a motion of urgent public importance on urgent need for federal government intervention to address riverside erosion in all your community in Indokwa is local government area of Delta State, leading to loss of lives and properties. The House know that the riverside erosion in Onya, in Indokwa in Delta State, has caused devastating losses over the past few years, including the destruction of homes, markets, school buildings, and other critical community assets. The House also know that Onya community is experiencing an alarming rate of erosion leading to a loss of significant land and infrastructure, threatening the livelihood and safety of its residents. Further know that the town is on the verge of being wiped out by the natural disaster, and immediate intervention is necessary to provide further, further displacement, consigned that the, the the continued erosion without intervention could lead to large-scale humanitarian crisis with many families displaced and losing their sources of income, further exacerbating poverty and hardship in the region. The House Resolve mandated the National Emergency Man Management Agency, NEMA, to immediately provide the relief materials to the affected residents of Onya community, including temporary shelter, food and medical supplies to alleviate the suffering of displaced individuals. Mandate the committee, the House Committee on Emergency and Disaster Management and the Ecological Fund to liaise with the Ecological Fund Office to assess the erosion situation in Onya community and develop long-term control measures. And finally, Mr. Speaker, I call on the Ecological Fund Office to prioritize the construction of erosion control infrastructure in Onya community as part of its effort to mitigate 
the impact of natural disaster and vulnerable region. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I so move. Are you done, honorable? Are you done? Any seconder? Dora? Thank you. Right, Honorable Speaker, my distinguished Honorable colleagues. My name is Honorable Sani Lal, representing Zongo Bori Federal Constituency. I'm from Kazana State. I stand here to second, as moved by my Honorable colleague. I so second. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. This motion is referred to the Committees on National Emergency Management, National Emergency and Disaster Management, and Ecological Fund for Further Legislative Action. The next motion is coming from Orabu Ngozi Okoli. If Orabu Ngozi is around, please rise and move your motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My dear colleagues, I rise to move a motion under the relevant rules of the five rule, or the eight rule five of this house for the urgent need to repair the Asaba Onicha Express Road, which has uh, almost cut off the two communities from existence. I so move. Any second to the first leg? I think my friend from Nasarawa will first of all tell us the subject matter and then uh, second. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the issue is pertaining to uh, Asaba Bridge. Asaba Bridge? Y yes, sir. Are you sure? I'm quite the wave, sure. Uh, I don't know whether the wave will, uh, uh, will agree with your. <laughs> well, go ahead. Because you are sitting near a leader, okay. I wouldn't want to no, make I, it uh, hotter for you. Thank you, sir. I, Honorable Abuka Sekidairu, representing Life Year of the Federal Constituency, I hereby second the motion. I so second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. The second leg, my dear sister. Ebikake from Baelsa. The right honorable speaker, my dear colleagues, I rise to second the second leg of the motion. I hereby second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. Honorable colleague, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The House notes that Asaba on Nature Express Road and the East-West Road, both in Delta State, is a very high commuter road within and across the state, which aids and facilitates the conduct of commercial activities, both within and outside the state. The House also notes that the road of, is of immense benefit to the movement of goods, services, and individuals to and from the nation's capital which is overall benefit of the nation's economy. Aware that this very important high commuter road has been left in a terrible state, which hinders the quick, comfortable, and free movement of persons and their goods has caused numerous accidents involving heavy duty vehicles, as well as creating a safe haven for criminal activities with robbers operating day and night. Worried also that with the present state of the road, commercial activities and the security of the lives and properties of the residents will be immensely affected and will result in a paralyzed economy activity within the region, ultimately leading to the loss of millions of Naira worth of goods. This has observed that the situation of the road is, if it's attended and fixed, it will boost economic activities in the region in particular and also in the country in general. It will also aid in the smooth and quick, comfortable movement of persons and in and around the region. The House resolves to urge the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, FEMA, 
to immediately commence repairs on the Asaba Onicha Express Road and the East West Road in Delta State immediately. The House mandates the committees on FEMA and works and other relevant committees to ensure compliance. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Any seconder? Right, Honorable, I cannot see the face clearly. The last row, yes, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Honorable Clement Ademola Akoni. I represent the Labulu Adri Federal Constituency. I am from Washington State. I second the motion as moved. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. This motion is referred to Committee on FEMA Works for further legislative action. Honorable members, the first business of the day is presentation of 10 bills. I now invite the clerk to read their short title. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable members, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, Sixth Alteration Bill 2024, First Reading, National Assembly Security Service Establishment Bill 2024, First Reading, Agricultural Research, Agricultural Extension Services Revitalization Bill 2024, First Reading, Tourism Development Trust Fund Bill 2024, First Reading, Federal Universities of Technology Act Amendment Bill 2024, First Reading, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, Sixth Alteration Bill 2024, First Reading, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, Sixth Alteration Bill 2024, First Reading, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, Sixth Alteration Bill 2024, First Reading, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, Sixth Alteration Bill 2024, First Reading, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, Sixth Alteration Bill 2024, First Reading. Honorable colleagues, the second business of the day is presentation of report of the Committee on Federal Capital Territory on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from the Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration Accounts. The total sum of 288 billion only, of which the sum of 31 billion 100 million naira only is for overhead cost, while the sum of 256 billion 900 million naira only is for capital projects. For the service of the Federal Capital Territory Administration for the financial year ending 31st December 2024. Standing in the name of Honorable Aliyu Mukhtar Betera. Honorable members recall that the bill was referred to the committee on Wednesday, 25th September 2024. The report is uh, ready for presentation. Honorable Betera is hereby invited to present the report. Honorable Speaker, Honorable colleagues, my name is Mukhtar Betera Liu. I represent the good people of Biu, Bio, Koyakusar, and Federal Constituency in Borno State. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, that uh, this House do receive report of Committee on Federal Capital Territory on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration account. The total sum of 288 billion naira, only of which 31 billion 100 million is for overhead costs, while the sum of 256 billion 900 million naira is for capital projects for the service of the Federal Capital Territory Administration, Abuja, for the financial year ending 31st December 2024. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Any seconda, the Chairman Area Councils, FCT, can you second? Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues. Uh, Bedi Chairman Frederick is my name. 
that represents Obama Ekelemo federal constituency. It's on coming and from Bias State. I rise to second the motion as a blue move. I so second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. The third business of the day is presentation of four reports of the Committee on Agricultural Colleges and Institutions, standing in the name of Honorable Akim Adeni Ademi. Honorable Ademi is hereby invited to present the reports. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Honorable Akim Adeni Ademi. Mr. Speaker, distinguished member, I am representing the good people of Afijio Atiba, Oyois and Oyo West. Mr. Speaker, I'm standing here to present the report of the bill of four bills on this floor today. One, that the House do receive report of the Committee of Agricultural Colleges and Institutions on the bill for an act to amend the Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, Act Cap A12, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, to make provision for the establishment of National Institute for Oil Palm Research. Please, while doing so, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask Honorable Betera to lay his reports. So please, you can proceed and do so. You have done so. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Ijebu <laughs> Ogun State and for related matters. Mr. Speaker, also that the House do receive the report of the Committee on Agricultural Colleges and Institutions on the bill for an act to amend the Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria Act Cap A12, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, to make provision for the establishment of Agricultural and Energy Technical Institute, Nasarawa Egon, Nasarawa State and for related matters that the House do receive the report of the Committee on Agricultural Colleges and Institutions on a bill for an act to establish the Federal College of Agriculture, Aguila, Benue State, that shall provide for full-time courses of agriculture, teaching instructions, and training in science, social sciences, commerce, art, applied sciences, management and humanities, and carry out research, innovation, development, and adaptation of teaching techniques and for matters. Mr. Speaker, also that the House do receive the report of the Committee on Agricultural Colleges and Institutions on a bill for an act to amend the Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria at Cap 1A12, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, to make provision for the establishment of Federal College of Agriculture and Vocational Studies at Konike Enugu State and for the matters. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Is the Deputy Chairman of the Committee around? Please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am Salman Idris. I speak for the people of Kababunui Jubu Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to second the report ably submitted by my chairman. I so second, Mr. Chair, Mr. Speaker. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is have it. Kabesi. Please proceed to lay your report. Honorable Oshoba, please can you move that the House suspend its rules to enable us to um, uh, consider the report of uh, the FCT on the Committee of Supply? Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, Olumide Oshoba representing Abelkuta North, Bafemerude, and other federal constituency. I move that the House do suspend its regular rules and revert to the Committee on Supply to take these reports. Thank you. Any second from uh, the minority? Mr. Speaker, Ali Yusanu Madaki is my name, and I represent the Allah Federal Constituency of Kano State. I stand to second the motion as moved. I do second, sir. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. So we go to the sixth order of the day, which is consideration of report of the Committee of Federal Capital Territory on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from the Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration account, the total sum of 288 billion only, of which the sum of 31 billion 
100 million naira only is for overhead cost, while the sum of 256 billion 900 million naira only is for capital projects, for the service of the Federal Capital Territory Administration for the financial year ending 31st December 2024. Honorable members will recall that the report was laid on Thursday, 26 September 2024. Honorable Aliu Mukhtar Betera will move for its consideration. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, my name is Mukhtar Betera Aliu. I represent the good people of Biru Bayo Kwa Shani. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Bono State. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, that this House do consider the report of Committee on Federal Capital Territory on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration account, the total sum of 288 billion naira, of which the sum of 31 billion, 31 billion 100 million is for overhead costs, while the sum of 256 billion 900, 900 million is for capital projects, for who, of which uh, the Federal Capital Territory Administration Abuja for the financial year 31st December 2024. I serve, move the speaker. Is the deputy chairman around of the committee? No? Yeah, I'm around here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are Honorable you the colleagues. deputy chairman? Yes, sir. Eh? <laughs> when, when, when did you assume that, uh, that role? Thank you. Anyway, by the uh, grace of the House, we allow you to, to second. By his grace, sir. I know for obvious reasons why you want to second that one. <laughs> eh? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. My name is Honorable Emeka Chinedu. I represent the good people of Ahi Azum Business in the Federal Constituency and from Imo State. I rise to second the motion, every move by my chairman. I so second, Mr. Speaker. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. The acting leader, can you move that the House re resolve to the Committee of Supply? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Olumide Oshobar, representing the Belkton North of Afamode and other federal constituency. I so move that the committee accept these reports and revert back. I so move. Thank you. The minority leader. Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleagues, Aliu Sanuma Daiki is my name, and I represent the Allah Federal Constituency of Kano State. I stand to second the motion as moved by the acting house leader. I do second. You don't want to make him substantive. You shouldn't have even mentioned acting. Eh? Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. I was resolved through the committee of. Honorable members, please be guided that um, this is in the other paper if you want to go through. Everything about the budget is there for you to go through. The report to be considered is that of the Committee of Federal Capital Territory on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from the Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration account, the total sum of 288 billion only, of which the sum of 31 billion naira, 100 million naira only is for overhead cost, while the sum of 256 billion, 900 million naira only is for capital projects, for the service of the Federal Capital Territory Administration for the financial year ending 31st December 2024. I now invite Honorable Aliu Mukhtar Betera, the chairman, to give a synopsis of the report, please. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues. Mr. Speaker, my colleagues, you may recall that this bill was referred to our committee yesterday, the 24th of September 2024, where the committee sat 
with the officials of the Federal Capital Territory, and we discussed the issues. After our discussion, the Honorable Speaker, we looked at uh, the supplementary budget, which stated that uh, the requirement from the FCT is just an augmentation to 2024 statute, where we sat with the Senate committee equally, we harmonize our report and we are presenting it to the House today for consideration. Thank you, Chair. So, honorable colleagues, without any waste of time, we go straight into the report. It has five schedules. Uh, we just go schedule by schedule, close by close, sorry, to approve. Uh, the first one is Committee on Federal Capital. Uh, Close one, which is issuance of 288 uh, billion from Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund, carried. The second close is that of release of funds, carried. The third uh, close is payment of revenue into the statutory account, carried. The fourth one is waiver, not in core expenditure, carried. Five, short title, carried. Schedule, carried. Long title, thank you very much. Active leader, can thank you? Thank you, Chairman, honorable members. I move that the house to revert to plenary. Minority leader, can you second, please? Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleagues, I stand to second the motion that we do revert back to primary as moved by the acting House leader. I do second. Thank you, House Resolve to Plenary. It's my pleasure to report that the House in Committee of Supply considered the report of the Committee of Federal Capital Territory on a bill for an act to authorize the issue from the Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration account, the total sum of 288 billion naira only, of which the sum of 31 billion 100 million naira only is for overhead cost, while the sum of 256 billion 900 million naira only is for capital projects. For the service of the Federal Capital Territory Administration, Abuja, for the financial year ending 31st December 2024. And in so doing, we approved clauses one to five, the schedule and the long title of the bill. Leader, can you move for the adoption of the report? Thank you, Speaker, honorable members. I move that the House do adopt the report of the Committee on Supply. Thank you. Minority Leader. Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleague, I stand to second the motion that we adopt the report as presented. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say no. Act Leader, can you also move for the House to suspend its relevant rules for us to take uh, the third reading of this bill? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues. I move that we suspend the relevant rules and take the third reading of this bill. I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleague, I stand to second the motion as moved. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is have it. Clark, please, can you read the long title, please? Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members. A bill for an act to authorize the issue from the Federal Capital Territory Administration Statutory Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration account. The total sum of 288 billion naira only 
of which the sum of 31 billion, 100 million only is for overhead cost, while the sum of 256 billion, 900 million naira only is for capital projects for the service of the Federal Capital Territory Administration Abuja for the financial year ending 31st December 2024. Third reading. Be read for the third time and passed. Thank you. Honorable colleagues, the first order of the day is commencement of debate on the general principles of a bill for an act to provide for establishment of Chartered Institute of Business Educators of Nigeria, charges with responsibilities of, of advancing the study, training, and practice of business educators of Nigeria and for related matters. Standing in the name of Honorable Moshud Olaruwaju Oshun, Honorable members will recall that the bill was read the first time on Wednesday, 14 February 2024. I now invite Honorable Ocean to move that the bill be read a second time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Distinguished honorable members, good afternoon. My name is Moshud Olanrewaju Oshun. I represent the wonderful people of Lagos Mainland Federal Constituency. I'm from Lagos State. Mr. Speaker, distinguished members, I stand to move that a bill for an act to provide for establishment of Chartered Institute of Business Educators of Nigeria, CIBEN, charges with responsibility of advancing the study, training, and practice of business educators of Nigeria, and for related matters, should be read the second time I so move. Thank you. Any seconda? If the seconder is coming from Lagos, let him not be from the rural part, from the real urban. Hey, I'll see my brother down there. Please, go ahead. I was recognized, I recognize uh, Suri Leri being the center of gravity of Lagos. But since you opted to, uh, I will uh, see that to you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Kalejai Adeboye Paul, PhD. I represent the good people of Ajero Mifeldu Federal Constituency, the Mini Nigeria. It's my pleasure to second the second reading of the bill moved by my dear brother and colleague. I so second. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. Since this bill is an infrastructure establishment bill, sorry, I don't think we need to go into debate. Everything is straightforward on this bill, so we just go ahead and put the question. Those in support of this uh, motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. This uh, bill is referred to, sorry, the, the clerk, please, to read the long title. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members. A bill for an act provides for establishment of Chartered Institute of Business Educators of Nigeria and charge it with responsibility of advancing the study, training, and practice of business educators in Nigeria and for related matters. Second reading. Bill referred to the Committee on Commerce for further legislative action. The second order of the day is commencement of debate on the general principles of a bill for an act to alter the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, to create a new state in the southern eastern region of Nigeria known as Aba State and for related matters. Standing in the names of Honorable Jinja Osibe and three other honorable members. Honorable members will recall that the bill was read the first time on Thursday, 11 July 2024. I now invite Honorable Jinja to move that the bill be read a second time. 
Thank you, Your Excellency, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues. My name is Ginger Obina Onusibe. I represent the people of Isialangwa North, Isialangwa South Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I am an Ongwa man from Abia State. Mr. Speaker, I seek your permission to invite one of the sponsors of this bill to lead this debate, Honorable Chris Nkwanta. We have not seconded first. What are you inviting him for? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I seek your permission for him to lead the debate. Yes, the debate has not commenced until we seek the approval of the House. Okay, sir. So you just move. We get a seconder first. Okay, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that the House allow the second reading of the alteration of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, to allow the creation of Abba State and other related matters. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I so move. Honorable Kelechi. The right, the Honorable Speaker, the best speaker this House of Rep has ever produced. My name is Honorable Kelechi Mwogu. I'm from River State. I represent the people of Eche, Omama Constituency. I rise to second the motion moved by my colleague. I so second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Aye. Those against should say nay. The eyes have it. Because of time constraints, are there dissenting voices to this particular bill? Is there any member who is opposed to it? We are all in agreement, so we put the question. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. Clerk. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members. A bill for an act to alter the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended to create a new state in the southeastern region of Nigeria known as Abba State and for related matters. Second reading. Be referred to the Committee on Constitution Review for further legislative action. The third order of the day is a motion on the need to investigate gross inefficiency of the National Health Insurance Scheme, NHRA, for improved services delivery to Nigerians, standing in the name of Honorable Kwamoti Beatrice Laori. Honorable Laori is hereby invited to move the motion. Thank you, distinguished honorable speaker, honorable members. I speak for the people of Jamsa Numa Lamu, the federal constituency. My name is uh, Kwamochi Beatrus Lauri. Mr. Speaker, the House notes that the National Health Insurance Act 2022, which replaced the National Health Insurance Scheme Act, seeks to promote, regulate, and integrate health insurance schemes, secure mandatory health insurance for every Nigerian and legal resident, and establish a fund for subsidy of health insurance coverage for vulnerable persons and payment of health insurance premium for indigents. Also note that since the passage of the National Health Insurance Act, the scheme has enjoyed the cooperation of the National Assembly in terms of annual budgetary allocations for it to perform optimally in delivering its mandate to Nigerians with the primary objective to ensure affordability of health care for all, especially the poorest and most vulnerable Nigerians. Concerned that enrollees in urban and semi-urban settlements have received extremely poor service, services from health maintenance organizations, HMOs, both private and public health facilities, which is distressing given the harsh reality that Nigerians are faced with removal of first subsidy and other economic policies of the government. Also concerned that the attitude of medical personnel and healthcare service providers treats enrollees patients as trash, subjecting Nigerians to unnecessary delay with the aim of frustrating patients from accessing services while the HMOs smile to bank monthly 
for services poorly rendered, a situation many Nigerians describe as dehumanizing and fraudulent. Aware that most enrollees have recently chosen to pay in full for medical services in establishments other than the HMO they subscribe to, in order to avoid needless stress and harassment that characterize the enrollee patients like beggars, devoid of human dignity and respect. Further concern that the scenario further undermine Nigerian trust in the program if left unchecked and considering how crucial a health population, healthy population is to the country's productivity, the purportedly demonizing treatment of enrollees and the regular out of stock or shortage of necessary medications and consumables in the majority of HMOs requires an urgent investigation. Worry that whenever possible, wherever possible, the enrolled patients are made to purchase out of stock drugs and consumables outside. They often do so without a refund or any form of compensation from the HMOs, which raises questions about the integrity of the scheme. Also worried about the growing allegation of abysmal service expressed by Nigerians with different unpleasant accounts of frustrations and dehumanized treatment in various HMOs across the nation. Recognizes that unchecked behavior of this kind would amount to fraud and gross disservice to the Nigerian citizens on whose behalf the government is funding the program, as well as further eroding the citizens' faith in the current administration's renewed hope agenda. The House do resolve, one, to mandate the Committee on Healthcare Services to investigate the cause of this alleged gross inefficiency of the National Health Insurance Scheme and recommend ways the scheme can be made to function more efficiently and report back within four weeks for further legislative action. Secondly, to mandate the Committee on Legisl Legislative Compliance to ensure compliance. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Any seconder? Honorable Lanka. Thank you, uh, able speaker, my honorable colleagues. My name is Honorable Isa Muhammad Anka, representing Anka Talatam of our constituency. I stand here to support the motion raised by, by my chairman, Honorable Komuti, and I so second. Thank you very much. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. This motion is referred to the committee Committees on Healthcare Services and Legislative Compliance for further legislative action. The fourth order of the day is a motion on the call on a call to commence academic activities at Federal University of Maritime Studies, Oron, Akwa Ibom State, standing in the name of Honorable Martin's Essen. Honorable Martin is hereby invited to move the motion. Thank you, the Right Honorable Speaker, respected colleagues. My name is Honorable Martin Sisson. I represent the hardworking people of Oron, Mbu, Okobo, Udungoko, Refon Orugu Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Akwaibu State. Arise to move a motion to call for the commencement of academic activities at the University of Maritime Studies, Oron, Akwaibu State. The House notes that the legislative framework which upgraded the Maritime Academy of Nigeria Oron to the University of Maritime Studies Oron was assented to by the former president, Muhammad Ubuari, GCFR, in 2023. The House also notes that the Maritime Academy of Nigeria Oron was established by the federal government of Nigeria with well-equipped structures on ground to function as a base for specialized maritime education. The House is aware that employers in the maritime field place a high value on maritime course graduates, which improves their chances of gainful employment and access to the wider maritime operations. Convinced that the establishment of the University of Maritime Studies Oron will afford the students the opportunity to specialize in international shipping, marine transport, marine security, among other related fields, 
since the maritime industry is at the forefront of international trade. Worried that since its approval, the University of Maritime Studies is yet to commence academic activities. Also worried that economic and commercial activities across communities in Oron, Mbu, Okobo, Udunko, Urefo, from Urugu Federal Constituency, we should receive a boost following the presence of a functional maritime university have been stalled. The House resolves to, one, invite the Honorable Minister of Education and the Executive Secretary of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund to brief the Committee on University Education on the delay in the commencement of academic activities in the University of Maritime Studies or on Aquaibum State. Also urge the Federal Ministry of Education, the Nigeria Universities Commission, and the Tertiary Education Trust Fund to set out modalities for the commencement of academic activities at the University of Maritime Studies or on, and mandate the committees on university education Debt fund and legislative compliance to ensure compliance. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I so move. Any second? I have seen my sister. Honorable Kafilat, can you second this motion? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, respected colleagues. I rise for and on behalf of my people in Kushofe Federal Constituency to second this motion, ably moved by my co colleague. I so second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. This motion is referred to committees on university education, trade fund, and legislative compliance for further legislative action. The fifth order of the day is a motion on a need to implement safety measures against Goli erosion manners in Nigeria. Standing in the name of Honorable Kola Wole Davidson Akilayo. Honorable Akilayo is hereby invited to move the motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The backing of his executive and distinguished colleagues. My name is Kola Wole. Davidson Akinlayo, member of certain Edo C. Mamba, Ileje Meji Federal Constituency. I am from the Fountain of Knowledge, Ekiti State. And my motion has to do with the needs to implement safety measure against Goli erosion <coughs> menace in Nigeria. The House know that the Section 14.2B of the Constitution of Nigeria, of Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, has amended that the security safety and welfare of the people of Nigeria shall be the primary purpose of governance. House also note that the ravaging effect of coastal erosion across the country has posed a significant threat to the security and livelihood of many communities, highlighting the urgent need for government intervention as sustainable solution to protect the citizens and the environment. They also are aware that the preservation restoration maintenance of the ecological environment in local communities in Mumba, Ileje Meji, and in those federal conservative state is crucial for safe movement of goods and services. Also aware that the erosion tragedy could lead to the collapse of the entire rural agricultural economy in vital food production regions. There are also concerns that the threat of gully erosion and devastating consequences on the livelihood and safety of the indigenous people and residents of the country. In addition, the problem of gully erosion has flooded a lot of structures, churches, farms, places of worship, schools, and football fields, and the road are in the deplorable state. Also concerned that the issue of gully erosion poses a grand threat to the indigenous people of the community, causing a flood of various structures, feed further complicating the financial security of the people and displaced residents. But are concerned that if quick action is not taken to avert the disaster, the consequences of severe flooding at the height of rainy season could spark a looming danger and ultimately result in the death of where many Nigerians due to erosion. As a result of reclamation and soil protection measures, 
must be put in place to address the threat to community that could otherwise disappear. The House will resolve all the Federal Ministry of Works, Federal Roads, Emergency Maintenance Agency, FEMA, and the Ecological Fund Office to urgently fund the construction of a new route that will nick affected communities to each state across Nigeria. The House also notes also urge National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to ensure the re resettlement of displaced residents in affected areas and provide relief materials. The House further urge the Ecological Fund Office and NEMA to jointly agree and engage relevant experts to implement measures such as slope stabilization, garbage installation, terracing, revegetation, and construction of losses and minimize the risk to nearby infrastructure and communities. The House mandate the Committee on Environment to conduct tour of the affected communities to assess the damage and report back within four weeks for further legislative action. I so, I so move, sir, Mr. Speaker. Any second, Orobu Fage? Yeah, you did. Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable colleagues, my name is Barista Mohamed Belashehu, representing the people of Fage Federal Constituency. I rise this afternoon to support the motion as I believe moved by my colleague. I so second. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. This motion is referred to the Committees on Environment and Ecological Fund for further legislative action. The seventh order of the day is consideration of a bill for an act to establish Federal College of Education, Dengue, Kanam, Plateau State, to provide full-time courses, teaching instruction and training in technology, applied science, arts, social sciences, humanities and management, and for related matters. Honorable members will recall that the bill was committed to the Committee of the Hall on Wednesday, 27 July 2023. The leader will move for its consideration. Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, Olumide Oshaba representing Abel Kutan North, Abba Femudi, and other federal constituency, I move that um, the Committee of the Hall considers the report. I so move. Minority leader. Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleague, I stand to second the motion as ably moved. I do second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. Leader, can you move that the House uh, resolve to the Committee of the Hall to consider this uh, report? Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, I move that the House resolve to the Committee of the Hall to consider this report. I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I stand to second the motion that uh, we dissolve into Committee of the Hall to consider the report. I do second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is of it. How is it about resolved into the contest? Honorable colleagues, this bill to be considered is for an act to establish Federal College of Education, Dengue, Kanam, Plateau State, to provide for full-time courses, teaching instruction and training in technology, applied science, arts, social sciences, humanities and management, and for related matters. I invite the sponsor of this bill, or Bugatti, to give a short synopsis of the bill. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman, honorable colleagues, I am Yusuf Adamogadi. I represent Panshinkanke Kanam Federal Constituency. I'm from Plateau State. Mr. Chairman, this is a straightforward bill. It was passed by the Ninth Assembly. That is the most important thing. So the report we are considering today, it is a report that was embedded by the Ninth Assembly. But due to the lateness of the sending of the bill to Mr. President, it could not receive the assent 
and the blessing of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In view of this, Mr. Chairman, it is not a bill that will seek to add more financial big financial stretch to government, as the existing Federal College of Education pension have been upgraded to the status of Federal University of Education, and Mr. President have directed and have soon commenced as a Federal University. In view of that, the bill seeks to relocate the existing, the former Federal College of Education pension to now to be established Federal, Federal College of Education, Dengi Kanam. It has its own provision there. Members can kindly see the provision of the report where we have the recommendations that was met to the nine assembly, which was all written. I beseech my colleagues to support me and to support this house in ensuring that this bill pass in the committee of the whole. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Without any waste of time, honorable colleagues, we go through the bill, which has one to 23 clauses, explanatory memorandum, the schedule, and the long title. Uh, we go one after the other. Clause one, clause two, clause three, clause four, clause five, clause six, clause seven, clause eight, clause nine, Clause 10, Clause 11, Clause 12, Clause 13, Clause 14, Clause 15, Clause 16, Clause 17, Clause 18, Clause 19, Clause 20, Clause 21, Clause 22, Clause 23, Explanatory, uh, explanatory Memorandum, The Schedule, Long title of the bill. Thank you very much. Leader. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues, I hereby move that we revert to plenary. I so move. <laughs> Minority leader. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. I stand to second the motion that the House do revert back to plenary. I do second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is have it. House resolve back to plenary to report progress. Honorable colleagues, it's my pleasure to announce the report of the Committee of the Whole, which uh, considered the report on a bill for an act to establish Federal College of Education, Dengi Kanan, Plateau State, to provide full-time courses, teaching instruction and training in technology, applied science, arts, social sciences, humanities, and management, and for related matters. And in so doing, approved clauses one to 23, explanatory memorandum, the schedule, and the long title of the bill. Leader, can you move for the adoption of this uh, report? Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, I move that the House do adopt the report of the Committee of the Whole. Thank you. Minority Leader. Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleagues, I stand to second the motion that we adopt the report as presented. I do second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. There is have it. Thank you very much. Leader, can you move forward? Oh, sorry. We have some announcements. Um, as I said earlier, the Joint Committee to Investigate uh, Oil, then uh, the NMPC oil issues, it's my pleasure to announce the list of members who will join the Senate uh, Ad Hoc Committee as well. 
to jointly investigate this matter are as follows. Honorable Professor Julius O'Hevery, the will be the chairman of the committee from the House. Honorable Fatima Talba, member Honorable Igarwe Oduma, member Honorable Sani Igidi, member Honorable Sadi Soli, member Honorable Bapa Ali Misao, member Honorable Dr. Patrick Umo, member Honorable Kalija A. Paul, member Honorable Obi Ogocha, member Honorable Bega Boiga Isiaka, member Honorable Amos Daniel, member Honorable Belle Shehu, Honorable Mohammed Belle Shehu, member Honorable Kelechi Ngogu, member Honorable Aki Rotimi Junior, member. We expect that the committee will be integrated next week. Uh, membership of the Conference Committee on Anti-Doping Bill. It's my pleasure to announce the following members. Honorable Mohamed Buba Jajere to chair. Honorable Adedayo Adeshola Samuel. Honorable Mweke Felix Uche. Honorable Ali Bapa Misau. Honorable Fainka Moses Olatoin. Honorable Mukta Zakari Chawe as members. We have some announcements. The first comment from Rep. Akintunde Rotimi Jr. And it is in respect of the notification of the person of Oba Gabriel Oso Adenei Obala of Ejesa Isu. And the message reads as follows. I write with a heavy heart to formally notify Your Excellency and by extension the House of Representatives of the person of His Royal Majesty Oba Gabriel Oso Adenei, the Obala of Ejesu Isu Ekiti State. KBC's uh, passing is a significant loss to the people of Ekiti State, particularly to the Ijesa, Isu, and Ikoli local government area. His reign was marked by dedication to the progress and development of his community, community, and he exemplified a life of selflessness, humility, and wisdom. Oba Gabriel Oso Adenei was not just a traditional ruler, he was a father figure a mentor, and a symbol of peace and unity. His legacy of leadership, deeply rooted in service to his people, will be remembered for generations. The people of Ekituan, Ekitu North One, Ikole Strok Oyefera constituency, joined the royal family and the entire Ekiti state in mourning these great laws. As we grieve, we also take solace in the impactful life of KBC lived and the values he represented. I respectfully bring this to your attention and kindly request the House observe a moment of silence in honor of the dear departed monarch. Thank you for your understanding and consideration. You are sincerely signed, Rep. Akirotimi, member, House of Representatives, representing Ekitu North One, Ikole Oye Federal Constituency. Again, we have on a sad note another uh, announcement, this time on the death of a dear brother of chief, uh, dear brother from Honorable Abedi Frederick, member representing Shagbama Ekeremo Federal Constituency of Bayels Estate, who is also the chairman House Committee on FCT area councils, and his message reads as follows. It is with gratitude to the almighty God I wish to announce the death of my immediate elder brother, who is, the same, who is of the same biological parents with me, Chief Alex, Alex Edupomon Abedi Tuwezi, who died on the 15th of August, 2024. He was 66 years old. He was a retired teacher, an accomplished businessman, and a respected community leader until his death. He was the Tokempa of Agoro II, the second, Angolo Iba community in Ikeremo local government area of Bielsa. While I mourn the demise of my brother, I, pr I pray God to forgive him 
his shortcomings and grant him eternal rest. I therefore order the house to observe a mini silence in honor of my beloved departed brother. Signed, Honorable Chief Abedi Yetimon Frederick. And uh, honorable colleagues, if you could recall, we also we were also requested to observe a mini silence in respect of uh, the death of uh, the Emir of Kobir uh, by the man by representing him, Honorable Bargaja. So we combined the three together to observe a mini silence. Please, shall we? Leader of the House, please, can you move for the adoption of uh, the proceedings of today to enable laws uh, transmit to Mr. President? The approval for the budget of FCT. Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, um, I move for the adoption of the report of the FCT to be um, sent to the president. I so move. Thank you. Leader of the minority. Leader of the minority. Can you please second the adoption of uh, the votes and proceedings of uh, today's uh, deliberation? Mr. Speaker, my highly respected colleague, I stand to adopt the motion that we adopt the vote and proceedings of today. I do second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is David. Sorry, honorable colleagues, there is one omission of honorable Pascal, is uh, also a member of the ad hoc committee. A big omission, please. Uh, Secretariat, please uh, uh, kindly reflect his name accordingly. Leader, please, can you move for the uh, adjournment of the House to Tuesday next week? Tuesday public holiday? Oh, when is it? Okay, please go ahead. Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, I move for the adjournment of this house to the 2nd of October, 2024 at 11 a.m. I so move. Minority leader, please can you second? Mr. Speaker, I stand to second the motion that the house do adjourn to 2nd October, 2024 at 11 p.m. I do second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. House adjourned to Wednesday, 2nd October 2024, 11 a.m.